We are now over halfway through season seven and can comfortably state that we have a few small theories about what could potentially happen in season eight. Recently, our feed was flooded with tons of leaks, a majority of them being based around the infamous Ice King, but there's been a few hidden gems that hint towards some potentially large map changes and story updates. So I've put together a list of the top five Fortnite season eight theories that I think could genuinely happen. I've scrapped a lot of the theories that are just out of this world to give you a hopefully accurate idea of what's to come. All of these are backed with information and proof to help towards making these theories somewhat believable. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the theories. First up is the Ice King theory. The most likely and most popular theory by far is at the end of season 7 the Ice King and the Ice Queen will rule the island and it will require the players of Fortnite to take back what was rightly theirs. Within this huge all out war there will be this spawning of dragons, yes the ones under the castle at Polar Peak and quite possibly a hero reveal, someone that will save us from the Ice Fiends and danger that has taken the map into all out war. Leaks suggest there is someone frozen within the castle, chained up, almost like the Ice King doesn't want them to be awake. This suggests it's someone powerful, someone that can in fact help us destroy the Ice King himself. Perhaps the hidden skin that's unlocked once you complete 60 weekly challenges, maybe. Now onto the dragons. I expect that when spawned, these guys can be damaged but will feature a lot of health. I'm talking billions upon billions of hit points. They will also be able to fly around the map for days, destroying buildings and damaging us with random bolts of ice. I say this because Fortnite tested a damage over time boulder that had 5 billion health and only lasted a few hours which when destroyed revealed a mysterious shaft. This is a new damage over time mechanism that they are testing and I think they'll put it into action more often within season 8. So with all of this chaos going on in season 7 the war will finally come to an end, but the map itself left damaged, corrupted and left with spurts of magical ice and fire consumables. The ice items will be some kind of freeze grenade and the fire items could potentially be like a magical molotov that damages you over time. And finally, the entry of spring, we can see the ice melt and the world slowly moving back to reality, all while the sea levels rise, which takes me on to the next theory. The second theory is based around an aquatic theme. This one has to be my personal favourite and something that I've been wanting for a couple of seasons now. As we know, Fortnite lacks any kind of water combat, there's no boats or even a choice to swim, but I think this will change in Season 8 with the reveal of an underwater biome. The ice has to melt, right? Which will then cause water levels to rise and what I think will reveal a section of the map that's underwater of some kind. And with the water levels rising, I can see the river through the original map rising, meaning it can be accessed by boats, jet skis and general swimming. And as you can see throughout Season 7's Battle Pass, they've teased us with a lot of aquatic theme emotes, sprays and skins, and even an unreleased leak item like this Kraken Pickaxe, which makes me believe that this could be a potential Season 8 theme. Plus there's a shark glider and a couple of scuba diving skins already in the game. The third theory is based on Game of Thrones. This theory is a little bit out of the box, but seeing as Epic Games teamed up with Marvel around the launch of Infinity War, a Game of Thrones collaboration doesn't seem impossible, and certainly something that would drive more players to download the game. We already have all of the ingredients to make this an actual thing. So we have the Ice King that obviously resembles the Night King, we've got the dragon eggs that could possibly hatch into Viserion, a bunch of knights resembling leaders of different houses, oh and a link revealing ice zombies coming which of course will be the White Walkers. And each of the knights have an emblem too which is why I resemble them as teams. Can we see these knights come together to destroy the Ice King just like Game of Thrones? Perhaps everything fits just a little bit too perfectly. Winter is coming. Mm -hmm. And for God's sakes, both Fortnite and Game of Thrones are in season eight. This has to happen. The fourth theory, underground caves. Ever since season three, Epic Games has teased us with a random underground bunker in Wailing Woods. Nobody really knew what it meant or even why Epic added it in, because why would you? It literally does nothing. 
but what if it's a long game update that's coming to Fortnite and potentially being used in Season 8? Fortnite is becoming a very three-dimensional game. We have ground combat, aerial combat with the X-Wings and building, but very little, if any, combat underground. I'm not saying we'll be able to dig our way through the ground at all, although that would be incredible and somewhat revolutionary in a shoot 'em up but I'm thinking more along the lines of a giant underground cave system or transportation shuttles that can get you across the map like mini railways that allow you to hop into minecarts. Again, Epic, feel free to team this up with underground water caves too of some kind. Like These mysterious bunkers have to be used sometime soon unless they keep appearing throughout seasons, and then maybe season 10, 11, 12, or something, they'll reveal that you can actually go underground and do some crazy stuff down there. But I'd like to think that's coming sooner than we think in season eight. And lastly, the butterfly effect. If you remember season six, you'll most likely remember the crazy butterfly effect that happened, which warped us into another dimension with no sense of time, location, or emotion. It was like a blip in the matrix and one that potentially reveals that time travel can in fact happen. This makes the fact that the aliens, robots, knights, angels, vikings, samurais, spies, zombies, futuristic humans are within the Fortnite world and it's because they're from the past and future and the cube has simply warped time. Could the butterfly effect be a test from the gods that control us? Who knows, but there are in fact small hints within the game that hint towards this. For example, the traveler has came and gone, perhaps from the future. And take a look at these skins. Do they resemble the same person? They look pretty similar, just from like different dimensions or different times. Is the Fortnite island some kind of experiment or test from other beings? And the butterfly effect was simply a reset or an experiment change of some kind. Season 8 could potentially crack down on this with some kind of glitch in the matrix revealing the truth and maybe why Kevin the Cube arrived and then came back, I think he's still there right, in the loading screen maybe, I don't know, whatever that is, and perhaps he was actually trying to save us or release some kind of knowledge about the truth. So all of these small blips and glitches are actually a part of the storyline which could make us see that time travel is actually a thing explaining why there's a ton of different timelines and characters from different eras of the world all in one Fortnite land or world shall I say. And yes, you could say there's a few more potential theories coming up but these are the ones with the highest chances of actually being true and the only ones I feel like you need to hear about. Seriously, one of these or a combination of them is going to happen. Just, just, just watch. But what do you think about these theories? Are they about right or do you have a theory of your own? We'd be interested in reading them in the comments section below. So get typing down there about your theories so other viewers and we can read.